Um, this is nice and fast at least. So it doesn't have like the, the massive explosion. Uh, but I like it. I like how fast it is. We can also play all our cards. I guess this might have been a bad call actually because we have no way to stop. I, I guess we actually do. On two, if they play one of the guys, on turn three we follow up by grabbing it. The deputy. So it should be fine. Ziggurat. Play another copy of him. We won't be able to Mantis Rider on turn three, most likely. The problem is it doesn't stop them from playing another copy of it. And I don't know if we'll be fast enough with playing Deputy turn three. Because these guys don't grow. So now we're only threatening three on turn three. Six, seven, eight on turn four. I don't know. That'll be interesting. It might be a hair slow if they have all the pieces. If they don't have all the pieces, we're fine. But I think with the London Mulligan, we have to kind of assume they're going to get their pieces. Oh, that's a rough path. That's a rough path. Uh, <laughs> our poor uh, prince is like, dude, come on, man. I would have been great. That, that's a tough one. All right, we'll grab that guy with the deputy. Hope not to get path. Mm, actually, I'm gonna reflector major. Reason so we can grow our other guy. And I'm gonna do this mainly because I don't want them to know that I'm out of basics. This is pretty solid. This slows them down a lot. So now they can't play devoted at all. Um, buff my guy, Reflector Mage does more damage, and then I can play Deputy next turn if I need to, to grab the other half. Or just throw down a Mantis Rider, do a ton of damage. Okay, so we're getting closer. Yeah, maybe we'll get lucky and draw a two drop to go with whatever three drop we drop, and then really put the pressure on. That would kind of be the dream. The viewer is in. <laughs> I don't know what that means. There's the vizier. So we're going to have to grab him up now. Hmm, okay. I mean, Vile's pretty weak here, but... Not sure we have a lot of other choices. Grab that guy. Hope they can't immediately path. Okay. Boom. All right. Thirteen. We're still like two turns away from winning and it gets a combo deck. That's pretty dicey. Like there's a really good chance that with this many cards they're gonna have another path or a way to go into their deck and get a Vizier because they're getting the Devoted Druid. So I kind of feel like it's Dismember or Bust here, but I guess we'll find out. Also have some blockers. Come on, dismember. Use a dismember. Hmm, that's actually fine. <laughs> I mean, it's slow, but it's fine. Man, this card is just so good. It's real hard to get a combo going with creatures when there's a Reflector Mage every turn. Uh, I'm going to play this just in case I draw another card and a... Hmm, never mind. I probably should just save that back, actually. Now that, now that we have the Vile, it's definitely worth bluffing. Alright, I think we're going to get there. 
because of the Mantis Rider, the Noble could be enough of a stumbling block that they don't block this turn and they block the four next turn. See, three, five, six, they'll go to six. No, they're gonna have to play a creature and not tap Noble. But they could set up a uh, Collected Company next turn. Emerald Hall, it looks like it's just you and I today. Some exciting uh, stuff happening. Maybe I started too early today. What do we got happening here? Are you going to block the champ here? Oh. oh okay. I was waiting for them. They're waiting for me. Alright, so we got them at six. They can't play. Well, I guess they could play if they drew a second Vizier and they have that card to go put something in. But it would still have Summoning Sickness. So they're still a turn away. Um, so they, they're going to have to have another blocker, though, for next turn. But a Collected Company would be pretty good here. That was the joke above? Okay, gotcha. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like they're probably going to sack that Arbor to do some trickery. They got five lands. Land's not the issue. Wow, that is so many lands. Okay, just a ballista. Well, I guess just a ballista here would be fine. Okay, no, we're gonna do that. So we'll go put someone in play. Druid and the vizier. They could play vizier here. The problem they face is that they're going to have to block. Ah, okay. That works really well for them. So, I kind of feel like if I don't draw a deputy here, I might just be dead. Because, uh, oh, that's so big. Wow, okay. <laughs> that should end it. Um, I get to remove the, de the druid now. Swing with everybody. And I won't win here, but we're close. And that just slows them down too much. So the plan for them was they could just drop a Vizier next turn and win. And now they can't do that. All right, so let's just go ahead and do this first. I think we do this first. Boink. Again, before we started here, I said I think Dismember is still just bananas. And yeah, we're, we're seeing why. It's just a really good card. I have a very hard time justifying pulling it. Okay. So, yeah, there you have to block everyone, I believe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> They're like, yep, nope, that's good. I'm out. Okay. Um, I don't think I want a Charming Prince. I don't think I fear the removal enough. Since we're on the draw I'm a little bit happier to play some more three drops um I think I'm gonna play another deputy I'm gonna play the bugler to get a deputy in case we need to go that route because I don't feel like we need like the speedier guys I don't think lieutenant's super valuable the thalias aren't that necessary uh, I think that's fine I don't think I'm gonna play the the mirror and crusader Okay. This is a little slow. Um, they could just win. No, actually, this is perfect. Because I get to go noble on first turn, it means turn two, I get to react with the reflector mage. So that's, that's actually perfect. All right, this could work out really well. The reflector mage has just been the MVP here. Because while deputy is great, they can just path and get something like the vizier back when they need it. Whereas Reflector Maid just destroys them. Okay. Ooh, wow, that's really good also. We're in very good shape here. Being able to bounce the first half and then Meddling Mage after that <laughs> for whichever one they played to name seems very strong. Unless they just do neither. Wow, okay. That seems like a 
terrible start. I wonder why they chose this start. Um, I'm going to do the meddling mage. Oops. And I'll name Devoted Druid, I think. Did I not put Plague Engineers in? Oh my goodness, I don't think I did. Wow. I sure hope I did. If I didn't, that is just uh, an egregious error. I don't think I did. Hmm. Okay. Well, that helps. Emerald Hall, did I put Plague Engineers in? I don't, I don't think I did. And that is really not good. Ah, uh, sure. Wait, what? Oh, I wanted to attack with him. Okay. Whatever. Errors were made. Uh, I could see, uh... Oh, okay. Search library, could you reveal it, put it into your hand, and shut the library. Okay. So, I think this is going to be a vizier. And then he'll do the other thing to put to sneak the other guy in, but then I get to bounce the vizier here, so that's pretty strong. Hmm. Or is the better call just to play freebooter to grab the card that lets him bounce somebody in? That's a good question. Oh, he grabbed the plague engine here. Ouch! That was rude. That was super rude. Okay. I still think I'm going to freebooter here. See what he's got. Hmm, and this member for the Plague Engineer also. So that's pretty amazing. All right, let's start here. See what we're working with. This is a very strange start for this person. None of the key cards... I could see them reacting with the path on the meddling mage. No. Okay. They've got the path. They've got the call. And they've got the vizier. And they have a shalai. Wow. Okay. That is really strong. Man, that changes everything. Um, I think that means I need to save the dismember for the shalai. I think I need to get rid of the path. Boy, this is so hard. The problem is if I get rid of the call, you can just path him to get it back. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I kind of wish he had path the mage and it would have made life easier. I would have just named the Shalai or whatever the call. It only goes in hand, though. Um... Boy, that's a tough question. Do I dismember that guy? So if I dismember him, I get to roll in for two here. What that does, very little. And if they draw a Shalai, I'm in big trouble. When I could just Reflector Mage it next turn if I feel the need to. But if I kill it here and they don't draw a land... I'm in amazing shape. Man, that's a hard call. I'm going to pass. I don't think it's worth the two damage. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, those are the three they, uh, that I know of. Okay, so they drew a bird. Oh, why don't I have Plague Engineers in here? So next turn they can definitely play Shalai. So that's really important. I was going to say, really? You're going to attack with him? Okay. I mean, it's three damage. I think I'm going to bounce him. Yeah, I think we need to put a little bit more of a clock on this game. Um, just sitting back here, I feel like we're going to die. So, let's do this. We still have the dismember up for the Shalai, which he's probably going to take his whole turn to play next turn. 
and then this allows us to attack. And I'm not gonna play noble because I want to respond with. Actually, do I need to respond with the? I guess I don't need to respond with it because I can still play Mantis Rider next turn. So I'll probably just play the Noble here. Okay, we'll do this. I don't think he's going to block because he wants to play Shalai. So that's fine. This feels like they're both good. Yeah, by playing him here, this allows, this gives me a couple more options to be able to like sack stuff. Wait, what? Hmm. Okay, that's kind of scary. So now this person has both pieces of the combo in hand, probably. Unless they get something else. Like a ballista or something. I feel like they're going to get a devoted druid. Though until they kill meddling mage, maybe it's better not to have it. I don't know. We got three viewers now, Emerhal. Okay, yeah, the Ballista seems pretty powerful. Perhaps just play the Ballista here, kill the Freebooter, get the Exile back. That seems reasonable also. Lots of options for them. Holding back this, this member feels very strong, though. Okay, go with Shalai. That's too bad. <laughs> that is not what I wanted to see. And I just can't handle it. Dude, at all. It really slows me down, too. Oh, wow. That's so strong. Um, what do I do? So, I've got so many choices here, right? I can go Mantis Rider, copy Mantis Rider, but then the, the copy dies to the Ballista. I can Reflector Mage the Ballista to make it do its thing now. That would let me do a lot of damage here, actually. That would let me push. Um, if I cast it with the Noble Hierarch, if he uses one to kill that, I think he would use both to kill the Freebooter anyway. Let's do that. Let's force them to kill that Meddling Mage right away if they're going to. And then if they don't, that's great. All right, this really slows them down. They could just do one ping on him and then have it go back to hand, but then I get to push a lot of damage, which it looks like is what they went with. Cool. Red, blue, white, Francis Rider, and do a pile of damage. And now they may play Shalai because they're thinking like, okay, um, I need to be able to stop the Mantis Rider well. And then they do that, I just remember them, and then the game is over. So that's what we're hoping happens. Go Shalai, go Shalai. <laughs> uh, that's kind of scary if they somehow drew... Oh no, they can't play that anyway. Alright, so here comes the Plague Engineer back. That feels wrong to me. Like, that is doing so little compared to what Shalai might do. Or what the Ballista would have done. I guess now he can go cast Ballista, you block one, use it on the Meddling Mage. Ah, interesting. That's big, because now I can't just dismember that Plague Engineer. That's annoying. I just really wish I had a man up right now. <laughs> really wish I had one up. Uh, so next turn, because of the Plague Engineer. Okay, that's that helps. That helps a lot. No, it still doesn't help enough because I can grab the Giver, but then they can still do the ability on Plague Engineer and I won't be able to kill Plague Engineer. So I think I need to kill giver of runes here and then do stuff hmm. and I can't pop the horizon can because then I can't play detention okay so if I kill giver of runes 
I'm doing two, three only. So yeah, there's no lethal here to be had. I'm getting kind of nervous actually. Because then there's the possibility next turn to just play Ballista into Path, play Shalai. Like if they played Shalai here, I win. So that was unfortunate. Um, All right, I guess we're going to dismember the Giver of Runes. I don't love this play. Maybe we'll get lucky, though. There's definitely a chance that we'll get lucky and they will not be clever enough to realize they need to do the ability on the Plague Engineer. It's doubtful, but it works. Oh my god! But I used the wrong mana for it. Now I can't play the deputy. Oh my god. Well, that is ridiculous. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Nice mistake. He made a mistake and then I made a bigger mistake. Awesome. Dudes. Okay. That was really bad and embarrassing. Wow, that's so bad. That was. I had the win there. Like I had, had the literal win, and I think I lose now because they get to go walking ballista this turn and kill stuff. Wow, that was so bad. We're gonna be able to kill the Mantis Rider. <sighs> okay, that was that was a really really bad mistake. I mean, they made a really bad mistake, but by mistapping my mana, I made a Really bad mistake also. It was one of those shortcuts, right? Like the obvious thing is just put the planes down, not the cool mana. Okay, so Shalai comes out. I grab Shalai. Uh, and I don't have lethal. I think the better play there was the Ballista. I think they had a lot of devastating options with the Ballista. And here I... Go in. If I grab the Plague Engineer, they block there. They block there. I do three. So if I grab there, they have to block there, or they they have to block there, and they take three. I don't have a way to double Phantasmal Image. I mean, play a Phantasmal Image. Also, if I did that, they would block there, block there. Actually, I think either way works. Oh, I can't grab, actually, the Engineer has Hexproof. So I grab this dude. He goes through. Block, block. I don't actually get to win here. And then Ballista comes down and ruins me. So, <laughs> if I play the, uh, if I copy the Mantis Rider, do I win? Uh, one block, one block. No. No, I don't really have a way to win here. Um, that's really bad. If I grab, if I copy Reflector Mage, Bounce Shalai, I can do two, take them to one. Hmm. Mm hmm. What is the better choice here? By the way, I have to handle a Shalai. One mana short from doing everything. So I play, if I play the Deputy grabbing Shalai, they play Ballista. It only takes one. They path the Deputy. They get Shalai back. That's not going to work very well. So I think probably bouncing Shalai is better here. And then setting up the opportunity then to deputy next turn on engineer. Maybe having a shot of winning. I think we probably lose here though. One more time because this guy has flying. It's block block. Yeah, that won't work. Okay, so I can't play image anyway. Wow, mana base, serious problems. Okay, so I can't play deputy either. <laughs> Well, now, I am... I guess I didn't lose that, that turn because I don't even have a blue mana. 
All right, so instead we're just gonna do the, all this thinking when none of it was legit. Cool. Hey. So now we're right back to where we were. We can do whatever we want. We're going to copy the reflector mage. Okay. Well, it makes me feel a little better that I didn't give up the win. Uh, I could cop, I could copy the meddling mage and just name walking ballista. That might actually be the best move. Then next turn I bounce Shalai. Next turn, I bounce Shalai. I'm pushing enough to win, I think. Mm, I think that's what I need to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. He can do this thing where he gives everyone plus one, plus one. Oh, actually, he'll have all these dudes up next turn. Let's do this. We will... Bounce July. And actually they can just block with the Birds of Paradise, so this might not work out at all. I'm really long time. I really went in the tank for that play. Alright, I need a good draw next turn. That would that would pretty much ensure the win. Okay, they're not blocking because they want the big ballista. Ballista here is going to be pretty devastating. But if they tap out for it, that could be problematic. Well, they could also Ballista in... I don't think they could Ballista... Let's see, two, four, five... I guess if they did draw a Devoted, they could Ballista in, then still Devoted and Vizier. Okay, good. They're going big ballista. That that means we don't instantly lose. That just is kind of bad for us. Like they can kill the Mantis Rider here. Oh, tap for the draw. <laughs> that would really help. Okay. Oh, okay. That helps a lot. Wow. Let's do the mana right here. But I can hit the plague engineer no i think i wanted to grab the ballista first forcing them to do what they got to do they the problem is they can get the path back that's that is a real issue there i'm not sure we win this turn but we'll see what happens i guess all right let's grab wait, let's not just see what happens <laughs> all right so we grab the, the Ballista, it kills, I guess the Reflector Mage and the Kite Sail. Then they hit the, the Mantis Rider, but I kill the Engineer. They're left with one blocker for these two guys and they lose. All right, that seems good. think this works because then if they path and kill the deputy the ballista is dead anyway all right so they use the ballista now they kill the freebooter and the reflector mage that seems to be the smart play okay there's the freebooter Reflector Mage. I guess while it's on the stack, there's no reason not to do this. Kill the Plague Engineer. Thank goodness for Nothalia. <laughs> that would have been devastating. I think we got this, because yes, they get to path a single guy, but I have three attackers, so they should be dead. It's a good game though. It's a good match. Okay. They can't path everyone and they only have one health, so they are dead. Boink. Whew. All right.
right. We got there. 3-0. That's not bad. 3-0 ain't bad. Uh, how do I fix that? Do, do, do. This? Nope. Nope. Uh, this one. All right. Results. Oh, I have zero and zero as my result. Hmm. That's that's not accurate at all. We are three and zero. Okay. Uh, right. I want to go into my handy dandy file where I keep all my leagues. Two and one against voted druid combo. I'm not really sure there's much to say there other than dismember awesome. I don't know. That's fine. But there wasn't a lot to be learned from that game, I didn't think. Other than play your plague engineers, which I don't think I did. All right, we're up to nine viewers, and still only Emerald Hull and I are having a very personal chat. So to the other eight people that are here, welcome. Let's see if we can get 5-0. and oh. And are you playing Charming Prince? And if so, how many? Are you at three? Are you at four? Did you find room for four? Did you sneak in a fifth and sixth copy hoping people don't notice? Not a good idea. Don't do that. Oh, let's see. Where is my... Uh... I do have one foil copy. I played in a draft and traded somebody one of the packs I won in the draft for a foil Charming Prince. I was pretty happy. I'll just show off a couple of the stuff I got from my last draft while we're waiting here. All right, let's see where where are we, where are we at here. It's hard to see with the mat that these are foils, but mm, there it is. Yeah, wow, you can't even tell at it all. It's a foil. Okay. Well, here's my foil charming prince that I got from the draft. Lost the roll. That's no good. Uh, and where is the deputy? I also open with my promo pack, the special deputy. So that's kind of cool. It's rare when in a draft you can pick up two cards that actually help. Oh man, this is not the one lander I want, but I'm keeping this. Like this is a pretty darn awesome hand, aside from the fact that it only has one land. I get to vile, hopefully, first turn. Um, then go like double champ, then have a vial on two for Prince to be able to counter any removal spells. Oh lordy. <laughs> this could go bad really fast. Okay. Thalia is decent in this matchup. But yeah. Oh, okay. That's interesting. What do I want here? Do I need to Thalia next turn to stop shenanigans? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I did. Too bad Charming Prince doesn't have a fourth mode. Remove infect counters. That'd be quite the mode. Glisten or elf already. Reflector Mage would be good. Plus two, plus two. Plus four, plus four. Cool. Sorry, five. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, it's already nine. Wow. And it's already 11. Cool. Good game. Well, that was fun. <laughs> that turned to dying to a glistener L. I'll play Vile. I'll play everything in my hand and win. Okay. Cool. 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 That did not go well. Uh, let's add our dismembers. I think this is a good idea. I wonder if Crusader is actually good because most of it's green. Um, it feels too slow though. I think Charming Prince is probably not right in this matchup. And I don't think Meddling Mage is that great because there are so many different possibilities of cards they could have. Probably should throw another one in. Three is tough though. 
I feel like three um, is real slow against them. By that point, they usually have... Oh, I don't remember the name of it. Bramble... Whatever, the one that makes it so that you can't actually hit them because they get hexproof. Okay, I think Freebooter is going to be really good here. Uh, and I can still do it turn two, even if I Vile here. So we're going to be able to do double Freebooter plus a clock. This could be pretty solid. Let's get that Vial out. At least we can't lose on turn one. What do you think about that one, Emmerholm? <laughs> bam, bam, dead. That was pretty quick. All right, the listener elf is back. Hopefully they can't win this turn. The nice thing is we will have a blocker. So that's something. Okay, stuff is coming together now. Uh, do we need... I think I do want to go ahead and name human with this one. Wizard is a bit tempting, but we have this Mantis Rider, and I don't want to have to take the Vial to three. I did take the Princess out, so I get still better on two. It's not as required. Ooh, this is not bad. Okay, that's the annoying one. Can't be the target of spells or abilities. Uh, but we can copy and grab that one. I think we take scale up. Scale up's pretty bananas. Alright, let's take scale up. We'll get vines next turn. We're going to have a hard time, I think, winning this one. Five, one, two, three, four. Okay. And then um, we will try to remember to uh, Noble Hierarch. I'm going to take my finger off the one. I'm just going to do that. Make myself have to more manually click through. I think we can do it now, actually. They're tapped out. Mm, they're not tapped out, aren't they? Don't they have another force? Actually, no. All right. Is that four in hand? So I guess the question is... Uh, yeah, I don't... Hmm. I mean, I could just go crazy and go, like, rider, image. But I think it's smarter to image in and grab the vines of Vastwood. I mean, they have so many of those spells, though, that it's kind of like... So I really think they're just not going to get another one this game. Seems unlikely. This really takes away the clock. But knowing they have it, it just kind of feels foolish not to go grab it. Now they have those three. Um, I think we Mantis Rider here. Let's put a little Thok on. I could have just Reflector Mage the Elf here. I think that would have been a reasonable decision. Just in case they draw something, but I think I like this better. I think I might reflect your mage this spell sky next turn. I just attack with everyone. I don't know. I'll have to think about this. With murderous rider being the new hotness, is it very confusing to hear rider out of context? <laughs> I guess. Mantis rider's still the best, man. Mantis Rider. It's funny because Mantis Rider in standard, how good would that actually be? I imagine that'd still be good, but it feels weird that it feels better in modern than standard. Then again, it just doesn't get played in any deck other than this one, so. My context is so limited for Mantis Rider. I'm so sad that I never played Magic until this year, so I missed all the all the times when all these cards were standard legal. Other than Freebooter, of course. And Deputy. Wow. They've really gone into the tank here. On my turn? No. Beginning of their turn three, huh? 
Decisions, decisions. They did not have that forest, did they? They had something else that I X'd off. Hmm. What do they show? Nope, they did have a forest. Okay. Okay. Come on, Scrug. Do your thing. Timeout wouldn't be the worst. I'd take it. I'd take the timeout win to go to four now. That, that would be acceptable. I did buy a couple avatars, so I should really change that. Let's see what avatar we should go with. They were one cent. And then I opened a few also. Oh, those guys kind of cool. Dockside Extortionist. He seems like a good one. So uh, it's between that guy, um, Chandra. I kind of like this Jace. That's about it. So those are the three. I'm leaning towards the uh, Pirate Goblin. Though I worry that it makes my opponents think I'm on an aggro -y deck. And then they mulligan for an aggro -y answer. And then I am on an aggro -y deck. So maybe I'll go with Jace and make him think like, Ugh. Maybe, maybe that's a control deck. I think that's probably what I'll do. I like that one too. Well, Scrug, you are making this a little less exciting than it could be. Hey! He's back. They are back. Just swing with Glistener Elf? Okay. Playing forest. Moving on with their day. Um, we're leaving that on two. I have plenty of stuff on three I could do. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Um, it seems unlikely they have it right now, so I'm going to leave that up. Oops. And on their draw, I will vial in the freebooter. There's no real reason to do that now. I guess the reason would be... Oh, maybe I need to move the vial to three so that I can reflect your mage and send the nexus back. The blink moth nexus. I guess they could have a really devastating answer. But I guess as soon as they tap to bring that in, I can respond with freebooter? Maybe? Not 100% sure on that one. Uh... I think I'm just going to reflect their mage back to Spellskite and swing for five. That seems reasonable. Let's see how this works out. This might be a bit foolish. The thing is, I can't really save it for anything else because the Spellskite will just redirect it. So I kind of feel like I might as well just get the Spellskite off the board and give myself options. All right, let's do it. Let's hope they don't have a way to buff that Nexus. All right, there we go. And then on their draw, we'll go ahead and pop him in and hopefully grab something decent. Boink. And another attacker on top of everything else. Ah, that's game. Okay. <laughs> game three it is. Um, Charming Prince. We decided that wasn't really worth it. This all seemed pretty good. Um, do I want a third deputy, I guess, is the question. I think so. I think now that we're on the draw, I can give up one more two drop for a three drop. That seems reasonable. Okay, here we are. Game three. All the marbles. Can we go to four now? Can we get a trophy? Right here, right now. That would be great. What you got, Scrug? Scrug the Scrugger. Uh, this is actually quite good. We can turn one, remove whatever infect dude they play. Or turn one vile or noble. Like we have a million options. I guess this is bad in that we have zero clock. Like this is all sort of 
reactionary land. I think I would have tossed this in a different matchup, but being able to have this member to answer what they're doing seems very strong. Um, the question. I don't think we need this member up here because of the nexus. So let's go Vile here. Plague Engineer is really good too. So this is kind of all coming together. Vile. I could have gone Noble to be able to just immediately drop Plague Engineer, but I don't think I need to do that. I think next year I can just like play a Ziggurat, Vile and a Noble, dismember whatever they do. Wow, okay, this is really working out well. That's also good, especially off of... The Vile will probably go to three here. Um... Does it matter the order here? I don't think so. We can just play Ziggurat and move on. Such a slow start, though. We have literally no clock here. This could burn us. But next turn, we do get to play a Plague Engineer or a Deputy, depending on what they do. Okay, Nexus is live. I think we are going to kill the Nexus. I'm gonna let them buff it first because I have nothing showing. So it makes them think they can just freely buff it, I think. Mm. I'll take the effect either way. I can still kill it if I really want. Let's try to kill it. Could be foolish. Uh, what? Oh. But if we get to kill it here, this is pretty big. Ah, that's too bad. Oh, Veil of Summer. Interesting. Okay. Uh, that stinks. Okay. Well, had to know that was a possibility. I guess the question is, do I... Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness! I got so distracted by all that, I didn't... Oh my god. Whew. That's frustrating. Okay. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna say Nexus. I'm gonna go ahead and play the guy. Wow, that is so frustrating. That's two games in a row I did that. Next, nope, blink more. Right. That way, now he can't make that a real boy. So what I should have done is viled in this noble before I bumped it, knowing I didn't have a two drop. I could have drawn one and then been frustrated, but I think that would have been better than what I did do. It's very limiting now for the rest of the game. Next year you can play Zeus, <laughs> I uh, Alright, that worked out well. Uh, I am going to move the Vile to 3 because I have the 2-3 drops. I would like to be able to do some stuff like cracking a Grove here. And I want to be able to, to surprise pop in a Deputy. So I'm going to go crack this. Hmm, wow. That is really good. Uh, let's just go this. Attack with our Plague Engineer. Doesn't get uh, hit with a path. That'd be very sad. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Too worried about the Dryad Arbor. Interesting. Is he? I was gonna buff it. Okay. Um. I think I have to deputy that. I don't really want to lose the Plague Engineer here. Wow. 
That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, we still have another deputy. But deputy can't grab lands. So I actually can't handle that blink moth. So we probably are dead. Okay, here's a noble. Okay. We have zero clock. And we're not doing anything. This is not going well. We really need to draw a reflector mage to be able to handle the Nexus. We're probably going to be dead. Mm, maybe. I guess the question is, do I vial it in and image and just swing for six here? I kind of think the answer is yes, I do. And I still have a blocker. I can give up one of them to either trade with the ink moth or slow it. It's not like the deputy does anything here specifically. So let's do it. And the next turn we get to crack the... Hmm. Maybe we should have played that now so we could crack it this turn. I guess we should. I might as well go with him. All right, hopefully we're swinging for seven. Now we actually have a clock. This is something. We can throw away the image copy to block the, the ink moth. Daily videos. Sure. Um, I did, did put up a video yesterday, so technically it is daily as long as we're only looking at yesterday. Is this really a tough decision to block with a noble or not? I mean, it's only one. That doesn't feel like a tough decision to me. I don't, I don't think I would block with a noble here. Is he doing some math here? Seven goes down to ten, then I go six, I drop a lieutenant, go to eight. Like I still don't have lethal. Oh, I guess I would, because of the noble. Maybe that's what they're thinking about? Probably be. <laughs> that's possible. That's definitely possible, Amber Hall. I'm I'm thinking about all the decisions they're thinking. You've come up with the obvious answer. They're just away from the keyboard. Okay. I still feel like the deputy puts us in a pretty decent sh spot here. Um, because we do get to handle an ink moth here for free. Even if they buff it. And then if they play another dude and they've used all their buffs, then we get to just deputy the other dude. So we're in decent shape. A big draw here for us would really help, especially with the canopy. We basically have two shots at it. And we have a deputy all queued up. If we could get a reflector mage, we'd be even better shape. They are at 10. We're threatening 7. And if we got a lieutenant, we would be threatening lethal. If we got a reflector mage, we'd be threatening a lot. Um... What are some other choices we could draw here? An image would be lethal. Actually, an image would not be lethal. An image they could, well, an image would be lethal if I could go deputy the noble image. What I'm really hoping to do is they just make the ink moth, sink all their mana into buffing it, letting me block it with the, with the image mantis rider. That's like the dream scenario. In that scenario, we just win. But unfortunately, there are many other scenarios. Let's see what they come up with here. <gasps> the great Dylan Hand liked my Twitter post of this stream. That that is not facetious either. 
Dylan Hand is uh, quite the humans player. Okay. What do you think, Imran Hall? Is it another trip to the restroom? Or is this person really in the tank? I think they're in the tank. I think they have a lot of different lines they could take here with four cards. That's a lot of pump spells. I could have another dismember. Um, that's about all I could have out of nowhere. But then they have to think about what I've already talked about. Let's, let's say they path the image Mantis Rider. I can still block with the big one. How do they have to sequence everything to wreck me there? Look, IBS is serious business. <laughs> it's a good point. Emerald is not wrong. There could be there could be some real um, digestive issues at play here. That's that is probably the play I like best. That's the I don't have an amazing line. Let's see what we can get line. Okay, only two mana. So that's not super scary. Actually, I know. <laughs> they do have a they do have a planes available. So they can still do the nightmare scenario. The nightmare scenario is pathing one of the mantis riders. The good scenario for us is something like that. That's the dream scenario. That's the absolute dream scenario. They lose now. Uh, lose now is a little bit much actually, but they come very close to losing. They can't even attack with the, the Ink Moth. Um, I get to bounce, I get to, to yank Blighted off the board because they're tapped. Oh, they're no. Let's see. I think everything needs, I think they're tapped out. Oh, wow. Okay. So they are super dead now. Um, okay. <laughs> cool. We will just play this dude. Yeah, tapping out, I, I don't think that was the right play for them. Like, if they hadn't made that Ink Moth, then at least I would have to fear any number of possibilities. But at this point, it's just kind of like, just go ahead and grab my last guy, and then, I, then you can just do whatever you want. Like that. It just does not seem like the best way to do it. And they didn't do anything with the Ink Moth anyway. So they basically just, like, gave that one up. So that was probably not the best way to do that. Well, we are 